Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and let's Kong! It's time for Robot Wants Puppy, the uh, sequel to Robot Wants Kitty, in which Robot Wants Puppy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get this going. It is the year 2000 XTX. In Zeta Sector, Morgox the Unborn has conquered all of civilization and spread his dictatorship to every corner of the galaxy, ruling with an iron tentacle. But on Della's War, rebellion is forming. Ordinary people are rising up to stand against tyranny. Meeting by cover of night, they plot to cripple Morgox's fleet from within. The attack is set in motion simultaneously by Confederates working in the Stardox across the sector. Meanwhile, in a completely different galaxy, thousands of light years away, Robot wants puppy. By the way, his tentacles are literally, literally iron. That wasn't some kind of metaphor. Good to know. I think that's it. There we go. Alright. So this time we do start with the ability to jump. However, we don't have lasers. However, we have Kitty. And Kitty shall help us in getting puppy. So we're gonna wait for that uh, little dude guy there to get past. Oh dear. Well, we presently don't have any means of defending ourselves. But shortly we will, so. Don't give up hope. Oh! Okay. Okay, up here, up here, come on, up here. Kitty Cannon! Press X to throw Kitty at enemies. This shall prove very effective in their destruction. Best attack ever. I'm not even kidding. Okay, let's get this going. Alright, whenever something happens to Kitty that it gets destroyed, it will automatically respawn on top of Robot. If Robot gets destroyed, Kitty will automatically respawn on top of Robot. There is the first mention of the Transmatter Computron. Dang it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good kitty. Good kitty. Okay. Yeah. Now that's the only problem with this game is the fact that you do require kitty in order to uh, attack your enemies. And if you do not have kitty, then you shall not be able to attack. By the way, this is an achievement, I think. Or maybe not. I thought there was an achievement to catch Kitty in midair, but yeah, whatever. This is not about achievements. I have most of the badges already. Actually, it looks like I might have that achievement in the first place, so yeah, whatever. Come on, Kitty. Get him. Get him, Kitty. Get him, Kitty! Dang it, Kitty! Ah! Okay. You know, despite the fact that it's kind of a pain to go back after Kitty and get him, like, after each attack, I still think that is one of the best attacks ever. Ow! like cute and deadly at the same time. A winning combination. Ow. However, getting blasted by gunk from some one-eyed alien that looks suspiciously like something from Commander Keen is not a winning combination. No. Oh. Now there is an achievement a hard badge on Congregate to uh, get to the ninth key uh, without killing more than 40 enemies. Needless to say, I'm not going for that. 
Also, I appear to have just gotten some sort of junk mail. How am I supposed to get that without getting hit? But I'm pretty sure those generator things hurt you, despite the fact that they have nothing to hurt you with. Ow! Darn you! There we go. That was my target. And now you die. He's almost dead in the first place. How sad. Mm -hmm. There we go. There appears to be a power up there. And this is gonna be interesting to get. It did. There we go. Interesting, but not that hard. Kitty claws sharpened. Now that's the thing with uh, Robot Wants Kitty. Uh, Robot Wants Puppy, rather, uh, is the first Robot Wants game that features upgrades to abilities you already have. And I'm going to completely get destroyed here. I'm right on cue. Kitty, get kitty, get, there we go. Uh, doesn't look like we can get that number two key yet. Also, massive changing of music all over the place. Ah! Watch where you're going, kitty. Okay. Destroy that uh, generator thing that the Bob dearly do. And uh, let's go down to the basement. Where surely we shall fight our first boss very shortly. Okay. However, how do I get up there? I probably thought of that in the first place. Oh well. There. Ah! Nah. Okay. We can get through this. We can get through this! Totally. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Like I said, interesting does not necessarily mean hard. Okay. And now we get this. Hello Kitty! Hold up in the air to drift gently. Alright. <laughs> I just love all these cat-based attacks and tactics. I should be able to get key number two. All right, Computron. Not that we need it because we came from there. Now we got key level two, which will allow us to go through here. And you get to die. Da! That was a little too close. I don't think. Oh boy. Yeah, we won't be able to get those razor claws quite yet. However, we will fight our first boss. Now this works kind of like bosses in Metroid Fusion. There's a shield there and you have to throw Kitty through the shield. And damage the uh, gooey stuff with it, I guess. And didn't quite make that. Oh! Hmm. And boom! Yes! Calamari is served!
Defeat Hoverzorg completed. That key number three. And there's a door number three. Let's go see what's over here. Almost certain death. Oh dear. That's not good. Get rid of that generator and then regenerate ourselves, apparently. Dun, 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 dun. 